was browsing the internet and came across so many scholarship websites. Really? So I came up with this lesson to answer an important question. Where and when should you apply for scholarships? All right, you wanna start by searching for scholarships within your interests. So let me give you some examples. You could look up vegan or vegetarian scholarships if this is your lifestyle. Say you love to bowl, you can find many bowling scholarships. If you are taking up cosmetology, there are hair and makeup scholarships too. Now, as you can see, there are many unique scholarships that are out there. There are also many online scholarship sites. I do prefer discovercard.com. and scholarships.com. Now on discovercard.com, you could browse a scholarship list. Or use the scholarship search tool to find scholarships specific to you without registering. Now the same thing with scholarships.com. You can search their scholarship listing without registering, go to the scholarship directory to find scholarships by a specific category. Now, if you provide your information, they will send scholarships specific to you. You can opt out of their promo emails by selecting no. Your next tip is to apply for local scholarships. Now, although they are not as popular as nationwide scholarships, many go unused. Crazy, right? And most people think there's not enough scholarships to go around. Here's a great example. I met someone who told me she is the only applicant for a $15,000 scholarship in her local area. And guess what? If no other student applies for it, she will automatically win if she qualifies. And if this is a yearly scholarship, she could reapply every year until she graduates. I will tell you how to find your own local scholarship. Number one, professors, teachers, and counselors. Two, the department head professor of your major. Three, family and friends. Four, your employer. Five, your friends and family's employer. Six, your society or club that you are a member of. Seven, your local bank. Eight, the local library. You wanna ask the reference desk. Nine, your local chamber of commerce. 10, local nonprofit organizations. 11, community organizations. 12, the school's financial aid office. 13, search the scholarship websites for your state's scholarships that are listed. 14, ask businesses in your local area if they offer scholarships. High school students, you wanna take advantage of your early start 
to stack up money before you start college. You could start applying for scholarships as early as your freshman year in high school. To begin your search, you want to go to discovercard.com and scholarships.com. They have a listing of scholarships for high school students. tip is to apply for smaller scholarships under $500 because they are not as popular as larger scholarships. But if you think about it, smaller scholarships add up over time and less people applying makes it less competitive. The last tip is to apply for scholarships that are challenging. It may be an essay or a project. Challenging scholarships are typically not as popular because people prefer it to be easy. Again, less people applying makes the scholarship less competitive. 